Hello, I'm Laura Reeves with Coldwell Banker Real Properties. I am at a very, very nice home, beautifully landscaped here in Blakely Oaks. Uh, Blakely Oaks is actually a relatively small neighborhood, and um, but very nice mature trees, and you have a beautiful canopy of trees, a circular drive, lots of character in this one. This was actually a builder's personal home, and he did a lot of personal touches, a lot of just nice upgrades. You've got pretty much a one-story home, very little upstairs, just three bonus rooms. Um, and then, but character, 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 quality, quality, quality. I love the windows. It reminds me of like an English Tudor, the way they did those muttons in the, these windows. You do have the gutters um, and with the gutter guards, you've got uh, huge columns, which I love. It makes a very stately look from the road. You do have tongue and groove ceilings. And then you also have the brick uh, flooring out here on the porch. Eight foot solid wood doors with the glass, beveled glass and iron. And an intercom system. Lots and lots of just unique features, as I said. When I come in the front door, you're in a foyer, a true foyer with nice a double door to the left, to the right and straight ahead. Lots of trim beautiful light fixture and then you do have a wonderful wall here for a foyer piece um, and then to the right you've got your formal dining room place for a large table plantation shutters and once again with this dining room it is an open floor plan but they use oversized doorways instead of zero walls so you do have place for a china cabinet as well as a buffet or server you could even put your buffet in the foyer um, even a little small serving cart, just lots of spaces. Your, all your paint colors are neutral and been freshly painted. You've kind of got just a pale gray. Here's your great room and it's great. My, one of the things I love about this home is this beautiful mantle. Uh, fireplace mantle is antique. It's not a reproduction. It is beautiful and it stays with the house. Um, and then you, it is uh, gas logs. To the left, you do have a wall for a TV, which sometimes with, once again, open floor plans, sometimes you do not have the wall space. So you've got your nice great room. And then off of the dining room, or I could have gone the other direction, you have got a staircase with beautiful wood stair treads that go upstairs. We'll get that later. But the kitchen, now the kitchen, this is my favorite. I actually like a medium light stain. To me, it's timeless. It will stand the test of times. But this kitchen has got some really spectacular features. I love that oversized refrigerator and lots and lots of cabinets, raised panel, solid wood. You've got an island, you've got granite, appliances. You've got a true ice maker, a dishwasher, and you also have the beverage cooler, the commercial size cooktop, and then the built-in oven microwave. Now that's a double oven because the microwave doubles as a microwave or it can be an oven. So kind of neat, lots of drawers. And then actually even these handles, these pulls on this cabinet, really a nice feature. They're good looking, they are not inexpensive. They definitely are a high-end cabinet. You do have your wine storage place. And then even another little nook there, um, lots of cab countertop space you've got the appliance garage chandeliers the breakfast area once again you've got a huge breakfast area and you do have space here for a buffet a baker's rack or a piece of furniture for your breakfast area and i wanted you to see this um, you've got your friend's porch so this is a little spot where when people come over they can come in your side entrance or you do have the circular drive in the front three car garage and I want you to check out all that concrete. I heard somebody say one time, concrete is like white gold to a builder. So they were very generous with the parking pad. So you've got teenagers or you've got multiple cars, you have got room for it. Um, and then you have your keeping area. So you do have a great room, but also a keeping area. 
a great place to, for the family to hang out. If you wanted to keep one, one of the great, the great room a little more neat and just tell the kids or the husband that it's okay to be a little more messy in this space, that's kind of a nice feature. And then you've got, they've made this spot here on the other side of the bookshelves as an office and it's great for an office. Or if you wanted to make it an exercise room, it'd be a perfect place for a treadmill or an exercise bike. And as if that's not enough living space, this is an entertaining house. You can have the football parties here. You have a wonderful sunroom and you've got the tongue and groove ceiling. And I'm just realizing I totally missed pointing out all in the kitchen keeping breakfast area the tongue and groove wood ceiling. That's one of the huge features about this home is that you just have such a large amount of beautiful wood. Um, but you've got the brick floor here in the sunroom and then windows overlooking a very nice level backyard. Now this lot is about an acre, give or take. Um, and you don't have any back door neighbors, no houses back there, but really a good size lot. That's one of the spectacular features about Blakely Oaks. So you had your friend's porch, which is nice, and then you have actually this covered porch as well. And then the workshop. Now that is a 34 by 34 workshop. You have two roll up doors, and then upstairs you have a completely floored upstairs that could be finished out for an apartment an office, uh, art studio, whatever you want. Really, really a nice place. Um, and I love the fact, and it was not cheap, to actually completely beautifully match the house. So if you need a family to live with you, um, you can make that an apartment, a full efficiency house, truly. Um, bedroom plan, it's a wonderful bedroom plan. So to this side of the house, you have got two bedrooms with two full baths. The master bedroom is on this side. You've also got your guest bath. So the master bedroom, plenty of room for a king size bed. You also have lots of wall space and you have double tray ceilings, surround sound. I have not mentioned that either yet. You have got surround sound with flush mount speakers. I do want you to notice these doors. I love them. It's like an entryway. It's not just a door. So you walk into your master bathroom and you do have your tiled shower. You have vanities and these vanities, these pools are like antique. It's more like a, um, a piece of furniture is what it feels like. Nice large mirrors. I love a nice large mirror. A full granite surround around the tub and like I say, a tiled shower with multiple heads and a couple of spray heads. So just a lot of features. Really large closets, nice large walk-in closets. Um, another feature this house has is you do have central back and they even have a plug-in place in the, uh, the house. A nest, I believe, is that like a remote um, place to, that you can control your HVAC with and a beautiful antique. Uh, vanity and then of course this is a full bath and i do what do i see <gasps> storage yay everybody loves storage bedrooms are large this bedroom is honestly you could easily fit even a king size bed in this bedroom and i do want you to see the walk-in closet this is a walk-in closet and that is a very deep walk-in closet for a child's bedroom. So you will not be disappointed with the closet space in this house. And then two additional bedrooms on the other side of the house. So that's bedroom three and four, and it has um, a full bath. Oh, here's a, another little spectacular feature. I actually love this closet, this little area here, because I love the handles, but also a perfect spot for movies and CDs and DVDs. And look how wide this hallway is. I mean, it's got like a little letter writing spot. Is that the coolest thing or what? And then bedroom number uh, three with crown molding still, and then great wall space. You do have a, a full bath here. So this is your third bath. And I love this copper sink, antique copper sink. And once again, just lots of cabinetry, lots of storage, lots of linen storage. And just look at these handles. I mean, just uh, that, these are gorgeous handles. 
really a spectacular home and you can access the full bath from one of the bedrooms so be a great guest suite somebody's turning lights off on me and this bedroom this is the one that can access the bathroom if you had parents or somebody need to live with you and i did want to show you this closet because it's huge so and actually wonderful built-ins in a guest closet which is very rare to see um i'm going to go upstairs because once again it's it's a wow let me just tell you it's a wow it's a wonderful place for a theater a wonderful place for uh hobbies offices there are three rooms upstairs look at that light light fixture it's just cool and solid wood stair treads and even so, just once again, this is something you just don't get unless you have a custom-built home or just the nice bookshelves for storage or for, you know, showing off special things. Now, this is all wood, and a lot of it is reclaimed from a cabin. You've got wood ceilings, wood walls, wood floors, speakers up here, its own air conditioned unit. There are three units, but wonderful theater. And then straight ahead, you have got that they're using for an exercise room. Could be an art studio. You could use it as an exercise room. You could um, make it as a bedroom even if you wanted to. There's so many things for crafts and art. And then they have got the hunting room. <laughs> this is where all the men will come. <laughs> they have got antler light fixtures and the board and batten i mean just look at this board and batten on the interior and then tongue and groove on the ceiling and on the floor just a beautiful wonderful this is a jaw dropper really and truly it's very special home it's custom built and you have a three-car garage so by the time you have a three-car garage as well as a 34 by 34 workshop you literally could, if you were very strategic, park nine cars. So if you're a car enthusiast, if you are uh, a workshop, if you need some place to build things, if you, even if you own your own business and you have equipment you need to store, this is a great house for you. A great house, beautiful, you would not feel like you're compromising. Great location, Spanish Fort Schools, up to 25, so your taxes are a little less and your insurance is a little less. My name's Laura, that's a lot to say, and honestly, I probably missed some things, so I would love for you to give me a call and let me show you this home. 251-490-8402.